You guys welcome back to another vlog please excuse my voice um i went to the bad bunny concert two days ago and it was a very last minute i didn't originally have tickets and i ended up getting a ticket with my sister um like the morning of so um i was screaming a lot a lot as you can tell my voice is pretty much gone um best concert i have ever been to in my entire life aside from seeing b2k in madison square garden when i was 16 that was like life changing for me but this was the best concert ever 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 if you have a tour and you're a bad bunny fan if you have a tour in like one of your cities or like surrounding cities do not miss out it was the best concert i have ever been to the energy the pride it was just amazing but I am, I talked to you guys in the last vlog, but I haven't even edited, I haven't had time to edit that vlog. I talked to you guys in the last vlog about how I am like doing another purge of my closet because I am really trying to buckle down on what makes me feel the best, what I feel is my real true sense of personal style, what makes me excited to put on. And I have an entire pile right here. Not those, those are my bungees. You guys already know the bungees aren't going anywhere, but I am going through literally everything and redoing my closet. I got rid of so much, but I noticed like, I really tried to sit there and think like, what makes me feel the most confident to put on? And I have gotten to the realization that my, I feel my best in denim and tops, which I mean, I've talked about that many times. I'm like a jeans and a top type of girl, but I have a lot of dresses and I don't feel confident in dresses. I don't know what it is. I don't It's just not my go-to whenever I'm getting ready. Um I wear them maybe like 2 to 3 times a year unless I like have a wedding or something. It's like Christmas maybe and like my birthday maybe. I don't really wear dresses often, especially tight dresses. I like satin slip dresses i like shift dresses um every once in a while i'm down for a maxi but i'm just noticing that like i just don't feel like me when i wear a dress i'm not super duper um girly when it comes to my outfits i like i'm i was just trying to like really notice and go through like my closet go through photos that i've taken outfit of the day posts and see like oh i love that outfit or Oh, like I wore that and I wasn't really crazy about it. I didn't feel comfortable in it. And I just noticed that my style is definitely more on the masculine side as far as like out like clothing pieces. Like you guys know I love oversized. I like button ups. I like loose fitting tees. I like muscle tees. I like oversized blazers. And I just noticed that like where of course, like I'm obviously very feminine in my style. I love my hair done. I love nice makeup. I love heels. I really, really like a twist on masculinity, if that makes sense. So I'm just like really, really trying to hone in on that and just go through my closet and see what reflects that and what reflects what makes me feel my best. And as I'm going through it, I'm like the things that I'm like, absolutely not like I'm not getting rid of this. I'm kind of going through it and seeing like if I was in the store right now or if I was scrolling online, would I buy this right now? If it's a yes, I'm keeping it. If it's a no, I'm getting rid of it. So, pretty much everything that I have in here, I have, let me show you guys real quick. I have all of my BNC body suits right here. These, I like, I haven't even been able to wear all of them, but these are hands down my favorite. I have all of my button downs, and you guys know button downs are one of my absolute favorite things to wear. Not getting rid of my button downs, like, not even one. I have the satin ones i have colorful ones i have floral printed i have uh linen i have cotton i have oversized i have 
literally every single color and I, I love them. That's one thing that like I absolutely love. And I'm just noticing like bodysuits I really, really love. Um, my wrap tops, you guys know these are my KLC. Um, wrap tops, I love these. I will always love these and they're something that I will always like grab because with a pair of jeans or like bottoms in general, they're just cute. So I'm trying to shit. Oops. What happened? You need toilet paper over there? Yeah. There's toilet paper in the closet. Oh. I put some there. Um. So yeah, I'm going through all of my stuff and I'm pulling out my bodysuits and I'm like, okay, which bodysuits do I absolutely love? Make me excited to wear. I need to find my tripods. I have no idea where they are and there's not that many surfaces to put my camera on, I'm noticing. Okay, here's one. Let's see if I can make this work. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just like going through every single thing. And it's like, if I am not obsessed, I'm getting rid of it. I'm noticing as well the pieces that I invested in, like the clothing pieces that weren't just like like cheapy, quick from Target, whatever, like those are things that I'm noticing don't make me as excited. Like it was just like an impulse sort of thing instead of like really, really wanting it. And I noticed that when I really, really want something, I will invest in like top notch just because I want it to last me. And like, for example, I just got this. This is from a brand called Click. The lighting makes it look so different okay there we go it's like a peach colored t-shirt bodysuit and it's an oversized fit you guys know i love my oversized oversized tops so like i invested in this one again it's a bodysuit comfortable it slouches really nicely and all of my every single one of my click bodysuits make me very very happy um i just the, the quality is just so good um, because obviously like Brendan and Cora was run as a boutique for so many years We just had so many pieces all the time and where I still like there's pieces that I have that we've had for Years that me and Brendan are like bro. This piece was so good or like it still fits my style. I just Really 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 want to get to the bases of my wardrobe with my jeans with Literally everything so I have a pile in my room in the other room of, this is a wrap top that I need to hang. Um, like, there's so many of my jeans that don't fit me well anymore because um, I'm not 25 and I don't have that body anymore. And I've gained weight with age, which is completely normal. Like, you're not supposed to be the same. I mean, not that you're not supposed to, but if you're not the same, size that you were when you were 22 like i'm 10 years older than that so it's like i need to let go of what i bought five ten years ago and if i don't like the way that it fits me or if it's not comfortable for me anymore i'm not gonna try to unless it's like just a little snug like then fine but if like they don't go up my hips i'm getting rid of them rid of them like i, I need to let it go they're just going through body suits like this is something we brought to bnc last summer i think last summer and I love this bodysuit. It's like a velvety fabric. It's a beautiful color, blue, you guys know it's my favorite. So like, where some things, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. There's other things that I'm like, no. Like these bodysuits, if you know, oof. We had these for BNC as well. These were the one size. Um, like you can see here, all the details made in the US. These fit from extra small to 2XL. I know it's hard to believe, or not 2XL, XL hard to believe but these were so good and they fit so nicely very comfortable i don't wear it super often because you have to husband of the year my it's hero too. my hero okay let's see now actually this is i think still higher so i'll leave it there um yeah the only reason i don't wear it super often is because it's a step-in bodysuit it's not a clip so you have to take the entire thing off when you want to use the bathroom. Um, so that's why I don't wear it all the time, but these bodysuits are incredible. 
like incredible and i had said in another video if you guys wanted me to do like a capsule wardrobe video or something of that kind and i want to do one i'm just trying to narrow down my thoughts on it because i feel like when you look at like capsule wardrobe pinterest or tiktoks or youtube everyone says the exact same thing and i feel like everyone is like oh you need to have this in white and it's like i feel like everybody just says the same thing over and over again whereas like somebody's capsule wardrobe or what somebody thinks is a staple for them is not might not be what a staple is for you so it's like i'm trying to really figure out i'm gonna get rid of this i think i'm, I'm trying to really figure out like what a staple wardrobe is for me and what a capsule wardrobe is for me because it's not a one-size-fits-all type of thing like the way they make it seem like i think i want to put like all of my body suits together like based on seasons like these are all like longer sleeved body suits that obviously i'm not going to be wearing until it gets cold the ones that i'm going to keep like this is a turtleneck bodysuit i love this bodysuit i love bodysuits in general they're the best this is from bnc i need to change the hanger henley's henley's you guys already know well you guys might not know henley's are like my favorite of all time i love love henley's that's like the number one for me i love them and then we have like this one shoulder that i really really like as well but i'm gonna go through and put them based on season so that I can put like all of my summer bodysuits into fall bodysuits, into winter bodysuits. This is another one of the one size bodysuits. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna keep this one. Actually, yes, it's very, they're just so comfortable. But I haven't worn it in such a long time. So that's what's like stopping me is like, okay, if you haven't worn it, get rid of it. But is it like I haven't worn it because there's literally like my closet has been jam-packed with stuff that it's like I just keep wearing the same five things because I can't even see all the stuff I have. This one I might get rid of. I, don't, I just don't wear it super often. So this is where I have the most, I think. White, blue, and I'll, I won't get rid of my button down. That's one thing that never, 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 never. White, white. A linen one, green one. This actually comes with a pair of shorts that I need to grab because they're in my room. This is mine. This is what I wore to my courthouse wedding. It's a dress from Because of Alice. Gorgeous, gorgeous brand. Beautiful brand that I would definitely recommend. Um, I'll leave their brand below. I actually just ordered a trouser and blazer set for them because I don't have one. Yeah, they're doing like a huge sale on their site and i really like their stuff their quality is really really nice it's a uk based brand that this influencer started my little chartreuse top i love this top so i'll put my rock top here and then i have just like seasonal things like this is a short sleeve um turtleneck from michael kors this is from when i worked at michael kors and i've had this for oh probably 10 years I'll never get rid of it. It is in perfect. I mean, there's cat hair on it, but I'll never get rid of it because it's in perfect condition and super nice quality. I have this set that I am definitely going to keep. This is from Brenda and Core. We don't have it anymore, but it's just so fun. Like, so fun for the summer. Even if I just wear the button down, it's super fun. Um, so definitely going to keep this as well. I'll put it in my button down section. So, yeah, this is kind of how I'm going about the purge. This is a set that I bought in Europe. I bought this in Amsterdam. Obsessed, obsessed with this set. Definitely won't get rid of it. It was really affordable too. Um, I won't get rid of it. One, I haven't worn it yet. More button downs. Another bodysuit, which I haven't worn. I think I'm gonna get rid of it because we're there's so, we're designing so many that it's almost like I want all of my bodysuits to be the ones that we're designing. This is a top that I love from bnc this was sourced from like a wholesale but it's stunning we had it in two colors definitely keeping this another wrap top those are definitely my faves button downs bodysuits wrap tops and tees my favorite 
because they all go so good with jeans, pants, shorts, everything. This is another one of my Click Body Suits. I love this brand so much. It is, they are pricey, but you feel it in the quality so much. They're such incredible quality. I think I showed you guys this one in like a get ready with me or something. Um, yeah, these are insane. I actually just ordered two more um, like staple type um, silhouettes. the satin cami you guys know too this is a staple i bought this one in new york like five years ago and i used to wear it tucked into jeans all the time like once a week and i forgot i had them so i haven't been wearing them it's like i have this one and then i have one from bnc that we designed this is the florence one of the first pieces we designed and it's satin super soft super comfy shit love love high neck blouses i don't think a lot of people like them for some reason every time we brought them to bnc i feel like they never did well but they are i freaking love a high neck top like i wore this to celebrate our engagement tucked into jeans or like a pair of pants i this i'm definitely keeping i'll never get rid of this one um, but yeah, every time we brought them to BNC, they didn't, like, they'd sell, but not, like, other styles, which to me is shocking, because, like, for me, this is, like, an essential, which is why I mean, like, essential to somebody might not be the same as, like, a must-have for you. I freaking love them. Okay. Oh, this is another bodysuit that I really, really like. Um, we brought this a couple years ago, but it's like a hook and eye bodysuit. Love it. This is more for fall, so I'm gonna put it there. And this bodysuit, I've never worn it, but love the print. But this is definitely more of a fall, so I'll put that there. And then I have these two. Again, Henley is like my favorite style. And then we have this one that I also love. Um, I just need to change the hanger on this one trying to get all my hangers to match which is i've never been like that at all but since i'm not gonna have that many clothes anymore i don't need five billion different types of hangers i love this like raw edge hem sort of cut again it's pretty masculine it looks like it was like ripped love it i have these two tees these are the bodycon tees from bnc again amazing super freaking soft they fit on the body really, really well. Just like a really comfortable cut. We brought it in black and in white. Loved it. Like I wear these all the time as well. Another Henley. I have this bubblegum pink one that I've never worn. I got it at H&M and it's not that I don't like it. I just haven't worn it. So I'm like wondering, should I keep it? I love the color. I'm gonna put it in my pile and if I don't wear it in the next, if I don't wear it by fall, then I'm gonna get rid of it. My muscle tees, you guys already know my obsession with the muscle tee. Another style that, for me, will always be a hit. Easy to wear. It's like a good twist on a basic with elevating it a little bit more. Like, just so good with some stack necklaces. Just, I have had this bodysuit for probably 10 years and I never get rid of it. It's just such a good fitting bodysuit. I'm not going to get rid of it so good and then i have the primrose mini which is amazing i have this that i'm trying to decide if i want to keep it or not i bought this from nordstrom um and it fits really nice to be honest i don't like the fabric that much like it's a very i don't know i don't like the fabric very much you probably can't tell on camera but i'm not i don't know no i'm questioning it it's a no one up love this bodysuit so much only thing that i don't like is it is a random like a regular cover it's not a thong um so it's annoying but 
not enough for me to not wear it. Ooh, this is, what, this is one of the first bodysuits we ever designed. Such good quality, this freaking bodysuit, man. Goes like that. And it's like a corset here. Bodysuit thong. Yeah, I'll never, ever, ever get rid of this, ever. Literally, I think the first bodysuit we ever created. Such incredible quality, like such good quality. We don't have it anymore, but amazing. Never ever getting rid of this. This is like a, from the archives. I just gotta hang it like this cause it doesn't have little strings to hang it with. And this is another click bodysuit that I think I fucked up. I have lipstick right there on it or lip liner, one of the two. I need to put this, I need to see what the washing instructions are actually. Machine wash cold. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the wash. Love this top, this is actually from Pretty Little Thing. Love this blouse. I've worn it once, I'll definitely wear it again. I love it. Um, it was very, very cheap. I got it I think for one of the videos that I was doing that I was like spending X amount of dollars in this place and seeing what I could find. Definitely not doing that anymore because that just promotes buying shit for no reason. I keep going back and forth about getting rid of this top because this is obviously very seasonal, but I feel like if there's ever a day where I need something that is sparkly and sequency, this cami is perfect with jeans, with a skirt, like for New Year's, for Christmas, so I feel like I shouldn't get rid of it. This is from BNC. Like yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of this. I just feel like you never know when you're gonna need something like that. And I have the NMD, which you guys already know will always remain, always. And if you have any of our bungees or the Normandy dress, we recommend hanging them through the hanger, not off of the bungees because the material is heavy, like they're very, very thick. They're not like cheapy at all, so if you hang them from here, it will stretch out your bungees. So we just hang them like this, and it just is way better for the lasting of the bungee. And then I have this dress that I haven't worn because I just don't have anywhere to wear it, but this is from BNC as well. Such a flattering, like very sexy dress. keeping this I love like plunging tops like this um, this is from BNC this I got from Amazon and I like this top a lot so I'm definitely gonna keep this I love this top from BNC as well so I'm gonna keep this love this from BNC keeping and then my dresses so pretty much all are satin slips almost all of them a blue satin slip Look at how stunning this dress is. This is from KLC NYC. I haven't worn it because it's too hot, but I cannot wait to wear this. Tiger loves this dress. I just haven't worn it yet. I haven't had it anywhere to wear it. Wow. This is crazy. Like, wow. It's pretty much empty in here, which is what I wanted, so that's good. I'm gonna put this on the same hanger. So this was not at all my intention to do my entire clear out with you guys. <laughs> but now you can kind of see my process and how I'm moving about it and thinking about it. And my, like I said earlier, my like must haves will be very different to everybody else's. It really just depends on what your favorite pieces of clothes to wear. Dresses might be what makes you feel your best or jumpsuits or play suits or you might hate bodysuits. It really just depends on each like person. And I don't feel like it's a one size fits all. Like I really feel like everybody feels good in different things in general. And I don't feel like you should try to force yourself to only like a specific thing because that's what's 
the standard or what everybody mentions. And you guys can also see that like my my colors are not like white, black, gray, navy. I like every color of everything. Um, it's another thing I also don't think is like needs to be the way that everybody says like I don't think that you need to only follow a color palette if that's not what you want to do like obviously wearing all black is easy or wearing a white tee is easy but if you like colors don't stop yourself because everybody says that you need to have x y and z like wear whatever the hell you want if you love colorful pieces and you like having colors in your wardrobe wear the colors that you like to wear don't try to change it based on what other people think you should have. These bodysuits are great too from BNC. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to keep this bodysuit. I got this from Amazon. It is it is a really comfortable bodysuit actually. This is a blouse. Okay. I'm trying to keep the blousey bodysuits. Every time I say blouse, I think of the blouse barn on um, Shit's Creek. If you watch this creek you know what i'm talking about you guys already know are like the pride and joy so they stay in every color and like i said we recommend hanging them like this not hanging them on the bungee strap because they're a thick fabric so they're like they will weigh down pretty much all of my clothes are in very good shape I take very, very good care of my clothing. And a lot of people ask me about that as well, which I'll probably talk about in the, when I talk about a capsule wardrobe video, I'll probably talk about it. But the main thing is follow the care instructions. A lot of people don't, they'll just throw something in the washing machine. There's some fabrics that just last longer if you follow specific instructions, like washing it on cold, not putting it in the dryer and things like that. So just follow the care instructions and your clothing will last you longer. And now look at this that I have. Disaster of clothes and then over here another disaster these this is the keep pile this is the get rid of pile so there's a lot of stuff to get rid of and i'm very excited about it like very and then i have all of my coats and jackets in there this is the stuff i need to go through right here KLC top. This is the red one. And then I have my trousers that are here. You got some room in there? A lot. Yeah. I'm way more manageable looking. I got rid of, I mean, so much. Fold these. I just need to get. So I'm trying to see if I can actually consistently have all the same hangers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that are on different hangers just because I don't I don't have any more of the black ones. The felt joints. Yeah. I don't know if I have any in my car. I probably do. There's a bunch of hangers in there. Yeah. But I don't know if they're felt. Yeah. I think they're the, all the ones you didn't want. I think so too. I just don't. I don't remember. I need to take these to get fixed. These are one of my favorite pants ever that we've brought to bnc they are such incredible bottoms like incredible but the zipper came off the track so i need to get them i just need to take them to a, a tailor and get them fixed i have a pair of shorts from zara that i need to do that too as well and i got my period at the bad bunny concert so i'm like this period has been rough rough i've been i've just had i've just had a heavy flow I don't want to go into detail. We all know what a period is, but just haven't felt good. Um, we did go this morning for a walk. Um, I told Tyler we should try. Now that we're in a new area, just to like explore. Um, every Sunday, we're only gonna do it on Sundays. Every Sunday in the morning, we're gonna wake up. Instead of making coffee here, we're gonna take a walk to a new coffee shop and have like a breakfast date. So this morning we went to place to a place called <clears throat> I don't even remember the name of it. Honestly, I've never heard of it before, but I just put coffee shop in my GPS and I found the closest one and I was like, let's walk here. And we each got, each got 
um, vanilla flat whites, ice vanilla flat whites with, we got like a big piece of toast, buttered toast, and we just split it and it was such a good little switch up. Now, God, there's such a mess in here. That's why I never want to do this because once you start, you have to commit. Where's my phone? Oh, my phone's been over here this whole time. You guys, I just put everything in the closet, like with my jeans. Could you guys believe that these are all the jeans I have left? This is Tyler's. Let's see if I can release this way. That's all the jeans left. I have these cargo pants. I'll put those there. These cargo pants from BNC. A pair of white jeans, one pair of black jeans. There's three pairs of jeans here. Well, like six here and then all of my denim shorts that's it compared to what i used to have and then my closet like this is huge because before i had to have like my own room to put all my stuff in a separate closet it's gonna take me a while to get settled in this room because i don't really know what i want it to look like like everything is literally just like crammed um I still gotta empty this box. It has bags, it has like a ton of stuff in there. Just like knickknacks, it's like a huge box. I haven't hung up any art. I don't know where to put all my books. All those need to get posted on Poshmark. These are my shorts that I've had for so long and they have a messed up zipper and I keep forgetting to take them with me. One of my favorite shorts. I love these, um, but I need to remember to take them. <sighs> yeah. So I think this is my stopping point for today because I need to. I have to get ready because it's my nephew's eighth birthday party today. Um, and the fact that I have all of these clothes here is a tragedy because I need to get these posted, which means I need to go through all of my photos and see if I have photos wearing these so that I don't have to sit there and take pictures and all this. It's a lot of clothes, like a lot, which I'm pretty sure I have photos of all of them because I've worn everything. I also brought out my perfumes. These are just like my favorites. I need to like, these are more for fall, to be honest. Like, I would say like these, these are more for fall and this one i wear this one a lot in the fall it's the kaoli vanilla um this was my wedding perfume so that's why i put it in the front literally every time i smell it now i think of europe um yeah so that's pretty much that's it and it feels good honestly it feels good not having a lot of shit um, I'm still doing that as far as my makeup, <clears throat> but yeah, I am, I feel like I'm in a good place as far as stuff, just stuff everywhere. My freaking ankle bracelet broke, annoying, so I need to take it back to the jewelry store that I got it from and get it fixed. But yeah, I think I'm done vlogging for today. My voice is giving out, so I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to talk. So I'll probably see you guys either a little bit later or if not tomorrow, which is tomorrow's Monday. Hi, guys. Happy Monday. It's Monday morning. I'm here at my dad's office. I feel like I'm getting like a bump on my eye or something. Um, but it's 11 o'clock. I've been in here for a little bit now. Just working. I'm waiting for him to get back. He left to go pick something up because I need to do some like invoices and stuff for him. But I am about to finally start editing. I have so much footage that needs to get put into a video that I don't even know how long it's going to take me. But I need to get this video up today. I need myself a little lunch situation. I have a bacon, egg, and cheese in a tortilla. And I brought Doritos. That's going to be my lunch. Um... So yeah, that's kind of just what I'm up to today. I'm wearing the Noir Essential bodysuit with my favorite black, well, my zippers down, trousers. And yeah, that's just kind of what I'm 
kind of what I'm up to today, but I'm about to I'm about to start editing and I will catch up with you guys later on. Alright, day one of trying to get my vlog life together. It's Tuesday. 9.55 a.m. Oh my god, I need to get my hair done so bad. I <coughs> woke up this morning, had my coffee. We took Lenny for a walk, got back, I took a shower, had breakfast, and now I'm here. So I've had like a full morning. I washed my hair because my hair was so dirty. getting ready because we're gonna go work at the HQ today. Renwin and I, we need to like touch base, talk about our designs, finalize things with manufacturers, um, see when we can do a launch date and all that good stuff. So, that's the vibe for today. Today is also Tyler and I's six year anniversary, like dating anniversary. Um, which is crazy. Six years have gone by really fast. It's also crazy. I think this is the first year that we haven't like gone anywhere or like done anything like big because we've just had so much going on. Um, which makes me a little sad because I don't know. I feel like our relationship is worth celebrating, but it's fine. You have to be an adult sometimes and sucks. Just untangled my hair. I'm about to put my products in. I'm just using the same stuff as always. The Curl Talk Defining Cream by Not Your Mother. And I just like drown my hair in this. I put it like all over. This is my, I think my favorite product. And it's crazy. I haven't done my hair like straight or blow dried or like waved and like with like the curling iron. I'll just use, I'll just say like hot tools. I haven't used hot tools in like two and a half months, going on three months. This is the longest in my life, aside from when I was like young, like a teenager, that I've let my hair just really be the way that it is and not like straightened out my pattern. And I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, I feel like I talk about it in every vlog, my hair is getting wavier and wavier and wavier. And I haven't gotten a haircut, which I know that would help even more, but even like these pieces right here will start to kind of just wave on their, their own. Going with the gel, and I don't use too much of this because I don't want my hair crunchy, but it helps a lot with the definition of my wave pattern. It's gonna be weird once I blow dry my hair, it's gonna be like, who the hell is this girl? I'm gonna also put this hairdresser's invisible oil this is a, um, it's from Bumble and Bumble. I've had this forever and I forgot I had it. I found it during the move and I'm not using like heat styling, but it's in a, an oil. So it's like, it'll help with frizz and all that. And last is my Beach Babe spray. I've gotten questions of like what order I put the products in and that's pretty much it. I go in with the cream first, then a little bit of the gel. And then, like look at these little curls down here. How cute are they? Um, but yeah, curl or cream first, then gel, then the spray. I cannot do my hair with, or my makeup with my hair in my face. And I actually got a little Melia bump. If you don't know what that is, it's like when you get a little bump on your um, lash line and it's like on the actual like in here. It's not like on the surface, it's like underneath and it's a buildup of oil. So I get them every once in a while, like depending on what makeup I wear. Um, if I try a new mascara, sometimes I get it. And I think the other day when I went to the Bad Bunny concert, I had on like wing liner, glitter, eyeshadow. I had so much makeup on that I haven't worn in a long time. So I don't know if maybe something wasn't good or if my skin was just like what are you doing like slow down so i have to be light on makeup today i bought this concealer 
it's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I got it in Golden Honey, just because I don't have anything that matches me, and this is even still too like orange for my skin, but you can't really tell on camera. My battery's about to die. Cool. So I'm just putting a little bit of the lighter concealer that I have. Let me change my battery. I didn't even know if I had any charged batteries because I haven't charged anything because of moving and everything just being kind of like cluttered. Um, and you can see I obviously I still have boxes. I still have like stuff everywhere. There we go. Um, hopefully this doesn't die. It looks really charged, but. I really need to get this room situated because the way that it is right now, I just can't. I'm gonna do that by like the end of this week. The mix of those two concealers are okay. Um, it's not like my favorite, but I don't have anything that matches, so it's like just gonna use it. using my Sephora collection. Translucent powder because it's gonna be hot outside. I already know. has been like the easiest makeup like routine and I love it so much because it's so fast so easy very just like thrown on and go and I love that because realistically unless I'm doing something very glamorous like if it's my birthday or if it's like an anniversary which I guess is today or like anything like that like I'm not trying to spend an hour on my makeup Oh no. I'd rather do anything than spend that much time on my makeup. Also, are you guys Love Island watchers? I feel like I, I don't know if I've asked that before. I am a Love Island UK, UK only. That is the only like franchise of it that I watch and I am obsessed. I've seen three, four, five, six, seven, and now eight. And I already know who won season eight. I'm mad that I saw, like, I saw a spoiler on my Explorer page on Instagram, so I know who won. The season hasn't ended yet, and I'm mad that I saw who won because I wanted to be, like, shocked, but I just love, I love who won. Like, I'm so happy they won. I hope they stay together because their, their, like, chemistry is really funny. I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara because this Melia is like annoying me. You can feel it when you blink, it almost feels like you have an eyelash in your eye. But it doesn't like hurt or anything, it's just annoying. And every time I try either a new product on my eyes, that's usually the only thing. When I try like a new mascara, I remember I tried the Essence mascara and I got a bump of Melia the next day. Um, on Friday, I had old makeup on like i went into my kit and i pulled out like a huda beauty palette i pulled out anastasia liquid liner like stuff that i've had for years and then of course yesterday i wake up with amelia lump uh, and it's always the same eye i think so normally i don't put any eye makeup on whenever i have a bump and it usually goes away the next day like it's very very fast but I don't want to be like done up today. Okay. Let me spread my face real quick. What is happening here? Oh, 
Oh, I also, I don't know if I told you guys already, but I ordered HelloFresh. We signed up for it. We actually get the first box today, um, which should be fun. I'm really, really excited to just see all the meals and all that. And I had mentioned it before, like I've always wanted to try it, but we just never have. And now that I actually tried one of the meals, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. So we're gonna try it for a few weeks, see how we like it. So far, I love the not having to think about what I'm eating because you guys know I cook every single day. So having to think of new meals, I tell Tyler all the time, like it's crazy that as an adult, like every day until you die, you have to figure out what you're gonna eat. That's like crazy to think about. I still have all these clothes on the floor that I need to get up on Poshmark. I'm either going to do the espresso cami or, not cami, tank. I'm going to do this one and wear my Comme des Garçons. I think that's what I'm going to wear. Like how perfect do these go together? Perfect. So that's the outfit for today. Our HelloFresh is here. Let me tell Tyler, see if we do it together. I was literally getting up to ask if everything is okay. Our box is here. I see. If you want to open it together. Around. I'm not stomping, I'm just walking. I walk mm, heavy. Mm, mm, Whatever. Mm. You've been with me for six years now, you should know. Oh, well, we could go through it together. But bring it to the kitchen, don't do that there. I'm just gonna cut the tape real quick. It's hot in here. Don't be messy. Don't. You're already doing too much. Okay, so we got Thai ginger curry with creamy coconut, veggies, peanuts, and lime rice. One. Caramelized onion meatloaf sandwiches. And chicken ramen. How? Oh yeah, I forgot you ordered you wanted the garlic bread on the side of the the ramen. Ow. Oh my god, and you ordered soup? You ordered the soup. No no no. Do you like put each meat inside of the bag that it comes with? I know. Okay, that's just that ice. Up? I know. Can you pick that up so I can set this? There keeps me saying that there's that could be stuff on it. Right, ginger curry. 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 Chicken to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try with that. You're staring over it. I don't know which one do we use. It'll probably tell you what I think. Use cutlets or. No, it just says add chicken here. Let's see what this one says. Cutlets. So the cutlets are for the ramen. Just there. So this one. This one we're we doing today. Today we're doing the ramen. Oh yeah, I for, I didn't know if you still want to do that because you said you're tattooing all day. I am, but we can still do something like that. Like I'm wondering, do you put them in the freezer from here or do you put them in the fridge? fridge. So but fresh. I mean, maybe if you want with the meat to put the meats yeah. in the freezer. Because I mean, that's going to be for two more days. So, yeah, I'll do that just so that Nothing goes bad. Ground beef, chicken cutlet. Um, you 
You have no gas in your car. Do you want Fuck. to take my car? Sure. Alright, so I'm gonna back your you're about to leave, I'm assuming. Not right this second, okay. but definitely in a few. Um like does this have to stay frozen? Or this is a very large tub of soup. Put it in the freezer just in case. Garlic bread. The boxes. Oh, and then we got caramelized onion meatloaf sandwiches. So the bags will go in the fridge. Anyways, I'm gonna get myself ready, get all my stuff together to get ready to leave. I'm thirsty, so I need to drink some water and I will see you guys at the HQ. Okay guys, so here's my outfit of the day. Converse and Comme des Garcons. Converse <laughs> shoes, these shorts are Zara. Probably my most worn, most worn shorts ever. I got them from last, I got them last year um, during the spring sale, so I'm sure they have something very similar. Um, and then the oat bodysuit from, from BNC. This bag is a very oat tote bag from BNC. And yeah, my necklace is from a brand called Adorn. I don't know if it's Adorn Mond or Adorn Mondé, Mondi. It's a little I initial. And that's pretty much it. I'm about to head out now. It's cold in here, so let's get see up. We're about to be gone. And did Tyler leave me his keys? That is the question. Ugh. Okay, laptop, charger, phone, notebook. Got everything. Let's take this off the tripod. My hair is finally drying. It's still a little wet back here, but I love how it's been drying lately. But I only like it on day one. I don't like it on like day two, three. Look at how wavy it is down here. So I, hopefully my camera does not fall. And Tyler was like, please do not scratch my car. Cause we have like this huge bush here. Hey guys, so I'm back in the car. I didn't record. I did not record in the HQ because um, it's just like confidential things that we can't show yet while we're developing this new product. And um, there was just no point in turning on the camera because I would have had to like, it would have just been whatever. But I can easily, without a doubt, say that developing something like a new product that doesn't exist on the market is the hardest thing I think I've ever done as far as this business goes. Finding, like because of the fact that we want to launch this new product without any errors. I don't want, and granted I know we can't please everybody, it's just what it is. Clothing is never gonna be something that everybody loves across the board. Um, but I don't want there to be any, anything that anybody can say badly about it because of how much time we are putting in to this freaking item. Like, we just got another sample that arrived today and it looked perfect. Like, I'm talking, it looked so perfect. Everything looked perfect. They made all the adjustments that we wanted from the first sample and so we were like all right let's try it on let's see how it feels and it's still not like exact we still have to make some changes which sucks because again i told you guys in the last vlog samples cost money every time we get a new sample made we have to pay for it so it's just like sample after sample after sample after sample hundreds hundreds of dollars to get this one item perfect is so difficult but we are trying to get these launched by September so we need to like get everything completely perfected before September so that we can do 
We can announce it. We can do the reveal. I need to have like marketing on deck. I need promos going. Like I need it to be completely set. Like the slogan. We already looked into a patent. It's like $20,000. So that'll be fun. But there is so much that goes into this that it's very hard it's very 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 hard and I just realized I left my food at the office and I'm not turning around because I'm already about to get on I-4 um, so yeah so Brendalyn took it with her to have her cousin try it on get feedback and then one of her friends is gonna try it on get feedback because we want to see what all different heights women everybody says about it and then I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna see if I can have a couple different people try it on I'll probably have like my best friends try it on or something um, because we need we need people to, to see what this is gonna feel like and see if there's anything that maybe we didn't catch that someone else will but it's just very difficult and expensive and Yeah. You guys, if you've never had Publix Bakery chocolate chip cookies, if you're trying to eat healthy, then don't do it. But if you're a balanced queen like myself, these cookies are ridiculous. They're just chocolate chip, they're so chewy. Mmm. They're so good. I'm making myself a new lunch now. I have these nuggets in the air fryer. Put three ounces. Here. I don't know what I'm making. I'm just making a wrap. I bought this because my sister told me to too. It's Chipotle bitchin' sauce. Never tried it, but, well, I tried it yesterday in my bowl and it was really good. Do some cheese and then I'm gonna do some vegetables, some onions, peppers for some crunch. I'm sorry guys, lighting in here is absolutely terrible. Anyways, I'll show you what my lunch looks like when I'm done. Hopefully it's good, I have no idea. I think it will be. So we just got our first ounce of feedback. Brendalyn took the bodysuit, or took the item to her cousin to try on. She gave us feedback and it's great feedback. Um, she sent me two videos of like her genuineness for sh as soon as she tried it on, what she thought, all that. So I have my wrap in the air fryer right now. It took, s it was so fast to make that. Um, but I wanted to get like a little bit crispy, so I wanted to put it in the air fryer. It looks like a massive burrito. That's gonna be good. And super low calorie. Hi, Nanny. Hello. Huh? Thank you. Good boy. Mm. I guess that's the best it's gonna do. I need it to stay closed. That's the worst part of burritos and they don't actually stay shut. So it makes me like want to eat it with it just like. Okay. Here's what it looks like. So. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Alright, it's taste tested. It's probably gonna be hot as shit. Mmm. Mmm. This will be good with pickles. Definitely make this again. 